Man, I said straight up, you should pour another drink. I guess it helps you wake up. Go out, be another fake with makeup. Just to make up for the fact that you just another fake. I know you just an act, cause you ready to face me. Hey, what is going on, my sluggity size? My name is Senra. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to another episode of... Uh, wait, this ain't smell review. Um, what's this? We're reviewing an American anime? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll never call that it. I'll never call a cartoon again an American anime. Um, but I mean, I guess it is, because technically, like, anime is just a, a style. So, technically, j anime over there is like Japanese cartoons. Anyway... Ladies and gentlemen, today I we are not doing a smell review just yet. We are doing a review on Gravity Falls season one. So, I this is the second time I record I'm recording this because I just didn't like the way the first one came out. I didn't like how I sound or I didn't like the way I presented myself. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try redoing this. So, well, yeah, let's get into it. Gravity Falls season one. We have expectations. No, no, no. We have expectations. We have what was given. Okay? That's literally how I can sum up this whole season one. Freaking. I did the anagram. Okay? I think I got rid of it, sadly. But I did the anagram. Okay? Stan is not who he seems he is. Okay? And literally at the end of this season... We see him being suspicious. I mean, we saw him earlier in the season go into, like, a secret um, area, okay? And I completely forgot about it. But, yeah, freaking Dipper um, gives Stan the book that he found at the beginning of the series. And freaking Stan just nervously laughs and runs off with it. And then we later find out he got the third book from Gideon. So... He has all three of the books. One, two, and three. And Gideon was looking for number one when Dipper had two and Gideon had three. So, freaking, oh my goodness. It's crazy. It is so crazy, uh, this show. Um, I never had the opportunity growing up to have a chance to watch this show. So, being able to sit down and really enjoy the humor... Which, at times, genuinely got me the laugh. Like, I genuinely wasn't, like, a small chuckle. I was actually, like, laughing out loud and freaking crying at times. Like, it was legit. There was some legitimate funny moments that I found hilarious, at least. So, I have nothing but praise. Like, I have nothing but good things to say about this show. Is that it's just, it's crazy like, this is what I missed out on from 2012, and I think season one ended in, like, 13. So, like, what was that? I was super young, dude. I don't even want to begin to imagine. I, ha I had to be in, like, elementary at that time. So, I never had a time to watch this, but I knew about it. And I remember there were some tidbit episodes that I remember watching when I was younger, but I don't remember the full context, so... Being able to watch these actually um, was nice. So, I want to talk about one episode that stuck to me personally, okay? And the reason I would say it stuck to me is because I am, like, a little bit of a nerd when it comes to this topic. And for some reason, like, it's not, it's not my study field. Like, it's not something I want to, like, study on. I don't want to learn. But it's something that genuinely fascinates me and I like to learn about. Um, time travel, okay? The way time travel works in this universe, or in this, like, show, okay? If I remember what I said last time, there is only one you at any given time, okay? So there is only one Dipper, one Maple, one, um, Wendy, so on, okay? There's only one of you. At any time in the point in the timeline, you can go back in time 
and it'll just in the, that that present you will just replace the pre the past you basically. So like I said, there's only one you in all the timeline. There's not there's not you're not gonna run into your past self or anything like that. But your effects on what you do will affect um the past. So what we saw was Maple showed some early settlers a calculator, what a high five was, um, was using some modern lingo and was got them to use it. Um, talked about freaking told them that women will have rights um, eventually. Like stuff like that. It displaced it, it displaced time. But everything, when they went back in time, back to the present where they had it, it didn't seem like it had, like, a butterfly effect. It just seemed like, um, it was, like, a branched off thing. So, it's con it's confusing. I think it's convoluted. Um, there's this episode I watched from New Rockstars. Um, I watch them for a lot of my Marvel stuff and whatnot. Um... Basically, there's he made like seven categories of time travel, and the first one is called the screw it. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna use the word he said, um, but it's basically the screw it time travel where um, it starts. Well, basically, it starts to it makes sense in the beginning, and then eventually it just gets ridiculous, and you just don't know how to explain it. And that's kind of what happened at the first that it just you know it became it made sense to me, and then eventually it just spewed out and just was a whole mess that it's hard to wrap my head around but this is why it's weird i really like time travel and um i think it's so cool that um even like in real life like time travel is possible it is so minute though i think it's like a quark we can make like a quark de-age a little bit into into like what it used to be so i think that's the cool part about time travel is that even if it's like super small uh in real life it's still a thing time travel is real even if it's not that big in real life but in media it is awesome and i think it's a cool concept um and i love that it things get complicated because it just makes it fun trying to figure it out basically uh, it hurts your brain I don't know. I'm weird. I'm 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 weird like that. I it's a, it's just one of the many many things that I enjoy. One of the many things that I um, have a weird taste for. But yeah, no freaking season one, Gravity Falls. Um, I got through that in like a week, almost probably a week and a half. Like, it was good for twenty episodes. It did not feel like twenty episodes. I will say that. That's one thing I realized is that you know the length of episodes. Whenever there's a good show, the length of how long, like the ep like the length of the episodes feels short. The amount of episodes per season or per arc, you don't even recognize them. That's how good sometimes shows can be, and that's kind of how it was for me for One Piece. Um, I understand One Piece is super long. I mean, heck, we're on what we're waiting for chapter one thousand and twelve right now. Um, I freaking watched all episodes all the way up to Wano right now and freaking it, it took me four months but it didn't feel like it like I didn't I didn't really feel phased by it because I just enjoyed it and that's what happens when you enjoy something you know like time just is irrelevant and it's it's weird it's just a weird it's just a weird thing that happens and I like it so I'm really glad that you know these episodes I enjoyed them and it just felt like I wasn't like Wondering like, ugh, when is this episode gonna get done? I'm getting bored. It, nothing like that. It wasn't no freaking dress rosa arc. Uh, hi. <laughs> Not gonna talk about that, dude. So yeah, I'm so happy uh, with this. Um, I don't know what we should name this. Okay. Well, I don't know why I have needle no surprise. What should we name this series? Okay. Cause I'm thinking I want to review cartoons too. Okay, like there's some genuinely good stuff like, give me a sec, let me pull up some I have ideas for. Okay, so some shows I have that I want to watch, and they're not even cartoons too, they're like some actual like, uh, what am I talking about, like just shows, like TV shows and whatnot. Um, so far I'm doing Gravity Falls, I want to do regular show, 
the original Teen Titans, Adventure Time, I have this new one that just recently came out called Invincible, and it's been blowing up recently, and it's reportedly been, like, freaking amazing. Like, it's, like, literally, like, peak cartoon at the moment, apparently, is what I'm hearing. Um, and then Boondocks, which, you know, I've heard so many good things about Boondocks, and I see it all the time over my For You page on YouTube. Also, the Clone Wars, like the Clone Wars TV show from for Star Wars. I want to watch that, too. Um, and then I guess some shows that I just genuinely want to watch again. Uh, I want to do a Breaking Bad uh, review. And it's a little bit funny because that has a little bit of history with the channel. Um, in the past, I did like a Breaking Bad thing where it's like season with a new season. And that ended up being the El Dorado new movie. For Breaking Bad, so, um, yeah, that was that, and then I, Carly, and Drake and Josh, just two shows I grew up with that I really enjoy, and, you know, maybe, heck, we'll, we'll throw it in, maybe watch, like, the first three seasons of Spongebob, bro, I don't know, if this is something you guys want, if you want me to not only review anime, but, like, watch some, like, cartoons, and just, um, give my thoughts on them, let me know, because, so far, this is a really good thing I started off with, with Gravity Falls, Alrighty, so I've been rambling on long enough. I hope you slippity slats have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to hit that like button or dislike button. Either way, it helps me grow as a content creator and helps me become the best person that I can be. And yeah, till next time, everyone. Stay sexy.